this last record, The Struggle, is when we really tried to own it together as a band. Because before, it was there was four of us, and then there was three, and then there was four, and then there was five, so it was a bit of transitioning, but I think we have our core five guys, and now we're really, I don't know, bonding and, and figuring out who we are. So. Jeff's a bit of an engineering genius, so we brought a little rig out on the last couple tours we did and we actually just would set up in the dressing room every day and just we would just work on music all together and so instead of me like sitting by myself and like writing lyrics to a guitar I would like listen to the track we were creating and kind of just start throwing out ideas and so we really tried to that was a conscious decision like we want everyone that's on stage to feel like I own this that I'm doing instead of like I'm playing this part that you're telling me to play and, uh, and we feel like it's created our best music yet. Well, I was just talking to um, Gareth of Ren Collective at breakfast, and I noticed there's a new guy on the tour, and he like kind of walked up, and Gareth looked, and he was like, mate, you can come sit with us, because he could sense that that guy didn't know what to do. And something I was saying to Gareth that I appreciate about them, and he returned the compliment to us, but our desire is to be inclusive, and I think that should be characteristic of the spirit of Christians. And a lot of times, especially in music, it's all about trying to show how you're better than other people and you're cooler, and so it becomes very exclusive. And our hope is to tear down those walls and feel in inventory, in invitatory. Okay. That's better than an Invi inventory. Invitational. There's this verse that says, I incline my ear to wisdom, and with the music of the lyre I will solve my riddle. And so I take that to mean the reason David wrote songs was to unriddle his own heart. And I think every song that we've written has got a, a trace of that in there. There's this sort of like, like even losing is like, man, people don't forgive each other. It's like, well, I have a trouble forgiving too. What is it? What is it in my heart that keeps me from forgiving people? And so the songs kind of get born out of this collision between my heart and what God's word says and trying to unriddle it. Musically, obviously, you want to be new. But then there's also a sense of like, come on, man, there's nothing new under the sun. What do you mean when you say new? Like even like Mumford and Sons, when they came out, I was like, oh, this is new. It wasn't anyone from Ireland. It's not new, you know, so it's all subjective. But, you know, Christian music is interesting because it's the only genre that's defined by a lyric and not by the, the style of music. Because, I mean, think about, like, technically we're in the same category as a whole lot of different musical, musical genres, but they're lumped together in Christian. And hopefully we're not saying something new. Like, to be honest, if we're saying something other, I mean, even... Even Paul, at the end of some of his letters, said, hey, if you hear a different gospel than what we've preached to you, let him be accursed. And so, <laughs> not to sound trite, but at the heart, I hope our message isn't new. I hope it's as old as 2,000 years ago. Yeah.